Hello, in this video, we will discuss a, a very simple topic from quantitative aptitude that is average. So, average is equal to sum of observation divided by number of observations. That is a very basic formula. From that formula, you can create another formula for sum of observations. That is, sum of, sum of observation equal to average into number or number of observations. A simple example to make it clear. Let marks of 5 students in an exam be 40, 45, 35, 40 and 20. So that in this case, the sum becomes 180. So we are just adding up the 5 entries of 5 variables. So that is the sum equal to 180. And finally, average equal to 180 divided by 5, that is 36. That is a simple formula to calculate average. And next we will see equation for uh, average speed. In this particular case, we need to see two different scenarios. One is a person is traveling equal distance. Second one is a person is traveling different distance. So first case, a person is traveling equal distance. Suppose a man covers a certain distance at x km per hour and equal distance at y km per hour. So we need to find uh, the average speed in, in this particular journey. So here the equation becomes 2xy divided by x plus y. So what is the meaning of this particular equation? A person covers, so assume that the person covers uh, initial 10 km at a particular speed. Again, same distance, next 10 km, uh, another distance, sorry, another, with another speed, y. So in total, he covers 20 km. So what is your, your question is about how, what, are the, what is the average speed of his journey? our speed of the entire journey so in in this particular case the person uh, covers first 10 km in one particular speed that is x in second uh, 10 km at different speed that is y so the average speed becomes 2xy divided by x plus y so that is the basic basic formula for our speed suppose if, if the person is cover if there is uh, three different speeds like let the first 10, 10 km first 10 km at x x km per hour second 10 km with another speed y and third 10 km uh, with another speed z in in total 30 km assume that so where we are three different entries three different speeds x y and z so in that case the formula become 3 x y z divided by x y plus y z plus z x so that is the formula for three different speeds okay so now look and look into the formula for different distance which means a person travels uh, 10 kilometer at a particular speed again next 15 kilometer different speed again maybe another 20 kilometer at different speed in this case the distance travel at different slots are different and as well as the speed also different so in this particular case we'll use a formula a plus b plus c by a by x plus b by y plus c by z what are the entries so a b and c are distance different distance first in first phase in 10 kilometer he is using a speed x next 20 kilometer he is using a speed y and last 30 kilometer z or oh, see 30 km z is using another speed is z so it goes like that so that is the formula a, a plus b plus c divided by a by x plus b by y plus c by z so let's take one example and we'll try to make it more clear this is a sample question a boy goes to school from home at a speed of 5 km per hour returns back at 15 km per hour Find the average speed. So that is a question. A boy goes to school from home at a speed of 5 km per hour and returns back at 15 km per hour. From this, from this question, you need to understand one thing. We need to understand which formula you have to apply. Whether the formula for equal distance or whether the formula for different distance. So let's once again read this question. A boy goes to school from home at a speed and returns back at a different speed so here the distance traveled is same but the speed are different the speed different speed is different in both case so we use the first formula that is 2xy divided by x plus y why because we we know that the distance traveled the distance from school to school to home as well as home to school are so both of the distance are same 
So you use the first formula. So formula 2xy divided by x plus y, where x and y are the uh, two different uh, speed at which he uh, traveled. So in this particular case, uh, this x is equal to y or 15. Both way you can take it 2 into 15 into 5 into 15 and would divide by 5 plus 15. So 150 by 120. The answer is 7.5 kilometer per hour. So very simple, very simple problem. So the case is we need to understand which formula we had to use. We if you use the formula directly, you will you will get answer very easily. You take another example. The second example, and the second example, a boy covers a 10 kilometer at a speed of 5 kilometer per hour, and next 30 kilometer at a speed of 15 kilometer per hour, and next 20 kilometer at a speed of 10 kilometer per hour. Find out the average speed. So again, here also we need to understand which formula formula we have to use. Here formula is for different distance. The person covers different distance at different speed. So initial 10 km at 5 km per hour, next 30 km at 15 km per hour, next 20 km at 10 km per hour. So we use the formula for different distance. So use a plus b plus c by a by x plus b by y plus c by z where a b c are we need to know what are what a b c are we should know what is a b c and x y z a b c are the distance covered a is a is 10 and b is 30 and c is 20 so that is the distance covered x y z are the speed the three different speeds 5 kilometer in the first case 15 kilometer second case and 10 kilometer third case so that is the uh, speed given speed given so use the formula you will get uh, 60 by 6 that is 10 kilometer per hour so that is the average speed of the all journey so hope you understood the how we are applying both both different equation both in different scenario